Hi Leo, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This is also your weekly astrology predictions from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Remember guys, this is your reading. So I'm going to describe to you the energies and then just please take them and wherever they resonate with your life, they belong. And if it doesn't resonate with you, then um, check out another video because I, I do videos for all 12 zodiac signs. So they might resonate with you as well, especially your rising sign and your moon sign. Um, welcome to my channel. If this is the first time you've ever stumbled upon one of my videos, thank you so much for giving me a shot. My name is Michelle and this is Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Welcome to my tarot table. I have a second YouTube channel as well called Astrology Motivation, where we go deep into astrology and I do a live daily tarot card reading so that you guys can join over there as well. So I hope to see you there. And remember, there's always an extended reading to this video for those of you who want to dive and dig deeper into the message we start here. That link is in the description box below. I also pin it to the top of the comment section and you'll see it at the end of this video so that you can boop right on it and get right to it. Um, let's start with the astrology. I do have a few cards sitting in front of me. Um, the astrology for, I would say, is, is probably the most difficult for you this week, but it's, it's not horrible. So the biggest aspect that the sun is facing, well, there are two. There's one, it's a transit. The sun will transit at the end of this week. I think it's December 22nd, it will transit into Capricorn. So there is an energy change. You go from a fellow fire sign where things are kind of wild and spontaneous and expanding um, to the restrictive Capricorn energy. Now, that doesn't concern me as much as the square to Jupiter. Now, Jupiter, of course, rules Sagittarius. And for a, a, a while, a little bit now, um, the sun has been square to Jupiter and it will remain square to Jupiter. This is because Jupiter was in retrograde and now it's just started to move forward. So the squares between the sun and Jupiter usually don't last this long, but they're, it's lasting a little bit longer um, because of Jupiter's movement. And so here we have this square between the sun and Jupiter as the sun moves into Capricorn. So you have that transit, that change in energy. It's much more restrictive. It's much more about building. I think what's gonna happen, especially when the sun is square to Jupiter and the sun moves into Capricorn, where do you wanna build now? Where do you wanna go now? What's important to you? And there is, since Jupiter is, uh, well, it's going into Aries. Where do you wanna take action on? And where do you wanna grow out into? Like what what do you want this part of your life to look like? Because there's another minor aspect, which is a semi-square to the south node. So there's a sense of challenging, challenging the way that you used to see the world and what used to be important to you. And which direction do you want to unfold into now? So I would definitely expect that there's a definite change of mindset and a change of the way you see things, as well as the, the what you want for what is to come. Um, there's lots of things that your mindset could be changing and you're seeing, um, it, it's making you want things that you didn't used to want before. And this could be challenging, but it also could be exciting. So it really is, how do you look at it? And how how are you going to react to these changes? Are you gonna fight them or, or tell yourself that they're wrong because you're not who you used to be? When in reality, you're not who you're supposed to want to be. And a lot of times dynamic changes can reveal who you are now. And there will be dynamic changes that are going to start unfolding in your life right now because it's almost like you are starting this new chapter in your life and you're building out. Think of Capricorn as like, as like the contractor, right? It, it's building out your life. Um, but it's going to have a much different, it's going to look a lot different than it used to, this life that you're building now, for better or worse, depending on how you use the energy. And remember, you can conduct that. One of the biggest things or, or, or tools in your wheelhouse right now to use is patience. Um, patience, respectfulness, uh, kindness. They will go a long way because there is uh, especially with the Jupiter, especially with Jupiter going into Aries, there is that sense of it could be easy to pop off. It could be easy to explode because Jupiter is the gas giant and the sun is 
gas and fire. So it's like, it, it's easy to explode now because you can get so passionate about things. You kind of just like let it all out. And that could really fuck you up. I'm just going to say it. That could really mess you up. Um, it's great to have new vision. It's great to have a, it's just, you'll be so passionate about something. There is like, don't be around any open flames because you could explode that kind of mentality. You could also hurt yourself if you throw yourself into situations uh, in the beginning of the week, especially when Neptune is also square to the sun. There's a sense of watch out for your health, watch out for sickness, watch out for being a little bit weakened or thinking that you can do too much or kind of being in a haze about what you're capable of um, because this could be when you put yourself into a lot of danger. So the best thing is to be kind of conservative and, and maybe the sun moving into Capricorn is the best thing for you because it'll, it'll slow you down a little bit and it'll make you more um, rule minded. It'll make you more long term minded. It'll help you go slower. And that's really what will work the best for you right now to not only um, you know, avoid injury, but, but like it, to help you accept the changes that are happening inside of you so that the changes that happen outside of you inevitably to your life are things that are nurturing and things that you love instead of things that you regret because the sun square Jupiter could go either way. It could be beautiful energy or it can be really, really combustible, damaging energy. And it really is all determined by how much self-control you have. Remember, not not control outside, but self-control. That's the toggle point and that's the challenge. Let's get into the cards. We have time to let go. So there's a lot of stuff that's really getting to you and really bugging you. And this is stuff that will probably explode out of you or be driving you to change your mind dynamically. This is scorpionic energy. So you've kept it inside for a while. Spirit has a plan. This is either having faith finding God, trying to find your own level of faith, um, time to let go. It's almost like in some ways you could be turning more to toward, you could be turning more toward faith or faith-based practices because your heart is hurting, looking for guidance, really looking for leadership to comfort yourself. And then a rebirth is assured. So this is really talking about what the astrology talked about, which is just, um, your your heart, the, the pain and the suffering that you've been through, guiding you to um, expand yourself and grow out in a different direction. A rebirth is assured. So this is, it's sort of, it's something that has developed from experiences that you just may, may not have wanted to deal with for a while. Okay. A rebirth is assured. That's good. Conclusions are within reach. Your hard work is paying off. This is good. So we have new moon in... Okay. We have new moon in Capricorn. And that is exactly what is happening. I mean, legitimately, there is a new moon in Capricorn that's happening on December 24th. So you're talking about December 23rd, 24th. So this is Christmas Eve Eve and Christmas Eve. <laughs> I mean... This is the new moon. So this card is giving us that time and conclusions are within reach where you'll know where you wanna go and how you wanna move forward with your life and where you're moving. Um, it's gonna be up to you, but the changes are gonna be there. The, the, the decisions are gonna be there. It's almost like the aha moment of, okay, this is where I want to be. This is where I wanna go. This is what matters to me. And a new start is coming. So this is legitimately, um, maybe a few weeks out, maybe toward the end of the year, but it's definitely a sense of, yeah, Leo, get ready because there's a dynamic change that is coming to your life. But in some ways, there's a sense of you driving it and you moving it in that direction. I'm going to get into the cards. I want to get the details as to what this change is. Um, what is the change? What, how, first of all, what is happening? King of Wands, it's all about you. It's all about the change. It's saying the change in you, the change to who you are. Um, the change in all of a sudden you're taking authority over your life and you want to change or create. Okay, hold on. Be specific, please. Be specific. 
I guess that's the most specific that the cards can get because it's almost like clarity as to who you are. This could hurt. This There could be a lot of pain and suffering here. You know, in, in a lot of ways, Leo, you could get handed your own shit this week. Um, yeah, it's almost like a statement of being isolated and being alone. You could decide that you wanna leave or somebody could announce that they're leaving you. Listen, I will always pray for you guys, but I will not deliver a message just to say I'm delivering a good message. No, that's not my job. My job is to tell you the truth of what I see. And I'll tell you this right now, there's kind of a sense of being self-isolated or feeling self-isolated. Maybe you're realizing that I need to spend some time alone or you're realizing how alone and how isolated I feel. This could really be something that's sort of overwhelming and overpowering you, that feeling of just not feeling connected. Um, um, this could also be a sense of being left behind. So what does that mean? What do you mean the left behind? Eight of swords. What does that mean? Um, three of wands. You could see this coming. You knew it was going to happen. Something has been coming around the horizon for a while and maybe it's just been upsetting you. Um, so you did know it. You did. Um, it could even be that you've decided that you need to travel somewhere and, and get away for a while, uh, which could be a really good idea because you kind of need an actual physical space uh, and a, to, to give you or help you with a different perspective. There's also learning here and growth um okay let's keep going we have uh yeah travel the chariot here traveling alone where are you going are you driving off alone are you leaving somewhere are you leaving somebody um it doesn't mean have to be permanent but there's just a sense of getting away like your getaway vehicle like i need to leave and i need to spend some time by myself to find myself and find my faith and find my way this is also a sense of working this could be leaving or traveling or deciding to go back to work or take a different job because virgo is the day to day so it's almost like advancement on the day to day um something that has been building over time is now culminating in some sort of isolation why 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 is the eight of swords here because why i asked why and i got the seven of pentacles there's a sense of um you've been trying Oh, you've been trying for a while. You've been working on something, something that you have been working on, <laughs> but you've been doing the same thing and that's why you're not in a different place. So this is about deciding to try something completely different. And I think that that means um, taking space or somebody taking space from you, or maybe you going on a sabbatical from work. Um, that is what's suggested. It, it's recommended. It's, it's like you just need different, need different. Ten of cups is here. Family means a lot to you. And I think it's a, they're an inspiring, they're an inspiring aspect and dynamic. Um, you just need clarification. It could mean that you need space from your work or that work itself, realizing that the work that you've done or the work that you do is isolating you from people that you love, or it's something with, with work that's been taking you away from feeling connected. Um, Ten of Cups is here, and it's all about just love, being with the family, being connected, feeling good. Um, there could be some family issues, most certainly, especially in the way that you were raised and the things that you were taught to believe and you're starting to see how they may not have been so good. And that's why you need to change your value system in order to hold on to and make your future and the family that you're building be happy. It's like this whole different way of thinking and so often, especially depending on your age, it's so hard to realize how we might have been ruining our future by, by sticking to the mindset that we've had all of our lives. So ultimately, there is being able to see that. So this is a very, a very deep week. 
Um, Eight of Cups, this is walking away. Somebody is walking away from what doesn't fill them up, what doesn't suit them. Like something is just done. At a certain point, this is you finally being able to admit, I've tried my best, I've worked my hardest, and I'm just not going to continue to have something in my life that doesn't fill me up. Somebody's sick of trying, I'll tell you that right now. Somebody, either it's you or somebody in your life that is really just sick of trying because no matter how hard they try, nothing changes. That's what they're saying. It, it feels like, and that, that could just mean that you need, to, you need to stop what you've been trying and try something completely different, try it a different way. But I think that this is a huge wake up call for you when this happens it's coming in quick it's coming in hot ace of pentacles and eight of wands it means that the catalyst for all of this is some huge career opportunity it's like somebody's got the money somebody's got money and they've got options and they don't have to stay anymore so it's almost like there could be a real lucky strike in your life where you just get um you just get the option to do something really phenomenal in terms of your career you could have a big breakthrough and and there's so many options and it hits so fast and it comes in so quickly that it's like do i have to take this shit anymore do i have to should i take this shit anymore i don't think so and then we have two of wands which has been something you've been thinking about for a while it's like you're finally it's like you finally have the resources to be able to go to be able to take that leap and take that first step out your door after maybe a long time of thinking about it this new star is coming is absolutely here leo okay so what is this all revolving around please like who is the major player in this besides leo um the emperor and four of swords it's uh so somebody who is maybe a boss maybe an authority figure who has reviewed your file who has reviewed the situation um or or no it's jupiter in aries um finally it's like coming back online it's almost like something has given you back your energy and you're finally back online the emperor is about taking charge and taking care of yourself. And maybe this is you being able to retreat in order to take care of yourself. I know this is gonna sound crazy because I know all of every Leo that watches the video can't do this, but you could very well just need a vacation by yourself. Even if you have a fantastic family, there's a sense of perspective that you'll need. And that's what it seems like. Four of Swords is a time of reflection on who you are, who you want to be, and those aspects inside of who you are that need to be healed. Um, the Emperor is Aries energy and it uh, rules the blood system, the circulatory system, your head, absolutely. Um, so maybe you need time to heal your head and heal the flow of everything that you are. Um, it could also mean that you've you you miss being in charge. You miss being the boss of something, or you miss being being um, and in, in having some sort of authority, or you miss somebody having some sort of authority over you. You might miss sort of. You might be sick of having to work all by yourself and do everything on your own. Um, you kind of want maybe to you don't want to be in charge anymore that could be it as well four of cups is here maybe you're just sort of okay four of cups is here meaning that you're just not interested in being i don't know you let me know in the comments below because i really like to know this this energy has a lot to do with what you choose <laughs> but four of cups is there are selections and it's almost like you're you're scared to to choose them right your your pensive still about it because you know how much this is going to impact you you know what kind of change and what kind of effect on your life this is going to have and ultimately it's it's there and you're four and four you're you're pensive about it uh king of pentacles could be a job offer a boss or an opportunity it kind of feels like you guys need to go back to work or need to find a place to put your energy that is positive and progressive. And that sets you up to like put your energy in a good place. Because if you don't set yourself up to put your energy in a good place, it could blow up in a lot of different places. But 
there is king of pentacles something here that somebody it's either you or somebody that is taking space maybe 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 they're taking a vacation they're taking a vacation from work or they they're going away for work but there's the perspective that distance is going to be when and i'm assuming it's around the new moon when that aha period comes to them and they make their decision so i would say especially for the first week for the first part of this week leo um be really um patient with yourself and be really respectful with yourself and and everybody around you and and don't rush because the answers are absolutely coming and she, you know it's almost like in some ways you 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 don't want it you don't want what's coming you see what's coming but you don't want what's coming because it hurts your heart or upsets you even if it's not something that you should feel bad about there's just a sense of having to let go of what was or even maybe um being scared to admit that that things are the way they are now or that your opinions have changed and that you're not who you used to be um and that you have to find happiness in other ways or in other places now this is really interesting and i want to continue this conversation with you leo this is almost like a mini dark night of the soul for you you haven't had the easiest of years let's go deeper and see how this is going to play out in all areas of your life i love you guys the extended link is below and i'll see you there